Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games, and welcome to a guide for Crusader Kings 2 achievements here on the channel. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, but every once in a while I like to show you guys how to do an easier achievement on Crusader Kings 2. Uh, I've also done ones on things like the outside bet and such. Just go through my channel's playlist, you'll be able to find them, I'm sure. Anyway, we're going to be looking at three achievements that came with the release of Jade Dragon. And I find the easiest way to do these, well, let me first explain which three they are. We are going to be looking at Child of the Dragon, we are going to be looking at A Curious Trinket, and we are going to be looking at Snipped Off to China. Those three achievements have respectively a 0 0.8, 0 0.5, and 1.2% completion rate according to the Steam Community Achievements list for Crusader Kings 2. And all three of these things can be done rather easily if you play as the Byzantine Empire, the last remnants of the Roman Empire and we're gonna to go to the year 1069 you don't necessarily have to do it at this time period but I like to for a couple of reasons uh, which we'll get into so we've got Iron Man mode enabled and in fact to prove that it works I've deliberately not gotten one of these achievements just so I could show it happen to you live now the reason why the Byzantine Empire is good for getting these achievements as well as for uh, triggering a Chinese invasion which we're gonna look at <coughs> here as well <coughs> pardon me uh, is because the Byzantine Emperor will always start with the Crown of Thorns and the Nail of the True Cross. The Crown of Thorns is a quality level 4 artifact, which is what is needed for the A Curious Trinket uh, achievement. So we're going to go click down here, open up the Chinese Emperor. It's the uh, Song Empire in this case, and we're going to send him the Crown of Thorns. That's going to give us 5,000 grace with him. Anything to please the Emperor, it's just that easy. You should have gotten the pop-up already, A Curious Trinket. Now, as for the snipped off to China uh, one, for this you're going to want to send a eunuch. This is another reason why the the uh, 1069 start is good, because you already have a eunuch in the form of your father, Constantinos Diogenes. And so you can send that to him, and you should have also just gotten uh, the pop-up right here and you will have gotten the snipped off to China. The reason why the Byzantine Empire is also good at this is because uh, in any in any uh, start, because you are Greek, you have the ability to uh, castrate prisoners. So for example, if we went over here to this guy, this lowborn uh, Chrysogonos, we'll just go ahead and imprison him. And now he's in prison. We can pick castrate do it and it's that easy you can even go into negative piety if you feel that you need to finally we have child of the dragon we will ask for a boon we can request an imperial marriage and uh, we will say we want our son to marry his daughter uh, performing an imperial marriage will grant me 500 prestige as well as give me a peace treaty with China the spouse of an imperial princess or prince will be able to raise a regiment of honor guards when at war it costs 1,000 grace which we have more than enough of right now we'll go ahead and send it we are honored and uh, just like that, he's been snipped. Uh, he, we got the Child of the Dragon. So right there, I just got the achievement. All right, so that's all there is to it for getting three of the rarest completed achievements in the game. But I wanted to also show you guys something else that's interesting you can do if you do the 1069 start. So we're just going to quit back to the menu and then pop right back in. You see, when you start the game... Uh, as the Byzantine Empire in 1069, which is not a usual bookmark, the Byzantine Empire is already at war with the Seljuk Turks. So let's go forward again. The Turks are invading from the east. And uh, because you have the Crown of Thorns, which is worth 5,000 grace to the Chinese Emperor, you can send that to him right away. So we're going to send the Crown of Thorns. We have 5,000 grace. We can now ask for a boon, and we're able to get the most expensive of uh, grace effects. Ask the Song Empire to declare war on another ruler with the intent of shattering their realm. If the war succeeds, any kingdoms or empires held by the target will be forcibly destroyed. China only attacks realms of either king or empire tier which contain at least 40 counties as anything else would be too menial for them. So you select your target. There's two available. They can go after Egypt or you can go after Alp Arslan, the Sultan of Persia. We're going to do that. Said bit. 
He agrees with your wise judgment that Alp Arslan Shagrar Begalu Soljek threatens to destabilize the world. The forces of the Song Empire are already marching out for the Middle Kingdom. So this guy, General Wang Shao, is uh, of, of the Western Protectorate, which is up here in this start. He is going to start sending his armies to deal with the Soljeks. Uh, and of course, he's a long way off, so it's going to take a long time. So we'll go ahead and uh, gather up an army, but really because this is not a serious one. Oh yeah, and you're going to get these news from China's pop-ups. Everybody should get these. Following the sage advice of Basilius Romanos IV of the Byzantine Empire, the Song Empire has declared war upon the Alp Arsalan Chagri Begalu Suljek with the intent of shattering the Suljek Sultanate. Han army is already marching towards the Sultanate, and it seems possible this spells the end for Sultan Alp Arsalan's great realm, just as planned. Now, they're going to keep going even if uh, there's no war on. So, uh, we're probably not going to really defend the east. Just let the Turks draw themselves west. Uh, because if their armies are running around in Anatolia, it means they are not guarding their eastern provinces. So we're just going to play on maximum speed here, not really seriously, just so we can give the Chinese time to uh, you know, occupy the east. We are at 8% right now, though. We're at 10%. And that is because we still control Armenia, which is what this war is for. So that one is, uh, goodness, which one's Armenia? Here we go. This area, these two. All right, so we might try to go over there, but I don't think it's going to go very well. As you can see, they got a 14,000 strong army. Uh, so it might be actually better if we just sort of stayed out of their way. But we'll we'll let things, we'll let some time go by here. Uh, what is this? Absurd request. Oh, we're not lowering no taxes. Getting defeated. We're losing, we're losing. And it's fine if we lose the war. It really doesn't matter. Let's get the... Oh, and here we go. They're invading. And we just got annihilated. So we're probably going to lose this war, but that's fine. That's fine. The main purpose here is to distract uh, the Turks from their eastern borders. Actually, getting in that fight might have sped up how long it's going to, like, sped up the time it's going to take for me to lose this war. Maybe sometime I could do a campaign with this start, because it is a difficult one. Uh, you know, because you start at war and they severely outnumber you. Alright. We should be seeing... We should, okay, as you can see, they are already beginning to occupy... The east now you'll notice it still says 70 minus 78 percent oh, there's a revolt there's a revolt breaking out uh, but they're occupying the land pretty quickly out there Celtic invasion is over they won so we lost a chunk of the empire there but if we go down here uh, it's going 72 percent in favor of the Western protectorate right now uh, I guess I have no choice we're going independent Crown Authority come on we're just we're just trying to see it happen. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just giving in to everything they're telling me to do. And that's it! News from China. After the defeat of Sultan Alp Arslan at the hands of Protector General Wang Shao, the Seljuk Sultanate has been disbanded. The vassals relieved as they are now free from the grasp of the Sultan. Further in the east, it is reported that Zhao Zhu, Emperor... It is, uh, Emperor Sheng Zong of the Song Empire is very pleased with this outcome as once again Song has displayed the mind of the dragon. They were no match. So there, everybody's just been blown up. We've got Kurds like have been created, Levitons, Bedouins. Uh, there's just a million things. And not only was it destroyed, but if we come up here, uh, where was it? The, the, the title as a whole has been destroyed. So like all the kingdoms and stuff, it's all gone. It's all destroyed. Uh, now, so so if you're the Byzantines, sure, maybe you lost this war, but now you have all these tiny little petty uh, duchies and kingdoms and stuff that you can take your time uh, breaking apart. So there, I hope you all enjoyed that. I'm Conquering History Games. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to, you can support me on Patreon. Link is in the description below, and let me know if you want to see some more guides like this for Crusader Kings 2. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.